Look, I think I, I think there are two words that are going to define this election and are going to lead to a shocking positive Republican result on election night. The first word is, is Kavanaugh. I think the reaction to the way the judge, now Justice Kavanaugh, was lied about, smeared, had character assassination, the behavior of some of the Democratic senators in the Senate uh, behaving as though they were ch teenagers in a tantrum. All of that, I think, has coalesced for the country. My newsletter that came out yesterday talks about uh, the effect that Kavanaugh had. The bigger effect of Kavanaugh was to remind everybody in the country this is a team sport. So when when Hyde Camp or Tester or some other Democrat says, oh, I'm really a moderate, the easy first question is, are you voting for Schumer? Because if you're voting for Schumer, you're not a moderate. And that's uh, you've seen a dramatic drop in the Senate races all across the country in virtually every state as people begin to realize these are all radicals. Okay. They are functionally radicals. The second word, I think, is just now emerging, and that's caravan. This 3,000-person caravan is a direct attack on American sovereignty. This is the caravan coming out of Central America. <clears throat> and it raises two big questions. One, who's paying for it? Uh, Laura Ingram estimated that it's about $7,000 a person. That, that would be for 3,000 people, $21 million. Where'd the money come from? And two, for all of our liberal friends who are anxiety-ridden about the border, if you allow 3,000-person <clears throat> caravan to work, tell me how big the next caravan will be, 5,000, 10,000. Once people figure out the Americans are really stupid and they can simply come together as a group, drive north and say, you owe us coming into your country. I mean, imagine this was your home and people down the street decided that you owed them living in your, in your living room. Uh, you'd think that was crazy. Well, the president this morning tweeted three times about the caravan, took a very strong line, and told Mexico, hey, get, stop it. What, you've got to right. stop it. And if you don't, I'll put the military on the southern border. Uh, he's making it into an election issue. It's a political issue for the president. And as well, you say, look, it sounds like a winner. Look, it's more than a political issue. It's a historic question of whether or not America is going to survive as a sovereign country. I mean, people like Senator Feinstein, who introduced an open borders bill, which every Democratic senator co-sponsored, uh, Speaker Pelosi, who basically favors open borders, she'll pretend she doesn't, but she's against doing anything which would control the border. The fact is, the Democrats have made this initiative, and it's not, it's not political. It's about the survival of the United States as a country in a world in which people want to claim the right to come here, no matter where they are. And these are not refugees. These, these, are, these are classic human migrations, uh, exactly like the people who came out of Central Asia to mm. overwhelm the Roman Empire. La real fast, Newt, you did say that you're expecting an, a, a, a surprise result, that the Republicans will keep the House and increase their majority in the Senate. That, that's what you just said? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, I, just as in 2016, I think everybody in the elite who's currently projecting a Democratic victory is going to be stunningly shocked election night. Okay. Newt, thanks very much indeed.